Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our spelunk through of Dark Cloud. At the end of the last episode, we were learning about what to do with all of this Atla that we get that resides in our Atlamilia. Or Atlamilla. I've been saying Atlamilia. It's Atlamilla. Oh, dear. Well, I'm going to get comments for that. Atlamilla. And we also learned about combat. We learned about weapons. We learned about a lot of stuff. We learned about why this world is the way it is. So let's get into it. Building and people that were sucked into the Atlamilia. Oh my gosh, it's Atlamilia. I was right. Will be restored to their original form. I don't know if it's Atlamilla, if it's Atlamilia. I just call it whatever the hell I want. Once you bring them back to the ground level, you can rearrange them as you wish. By going back and forth between the dungeon and ground level, you can restore the Earth to its original form. That's your mission as the one who was granted the power of the Atlamilia. Now, let us move on. This may get a bit technical. If you wanted to place buildings, etc., plus the select button, or left on the touchpad, while walking, and go to the edit mode. Press the select button again, or the left side of your touchpad, to return to walking mode. In edit mode, you can reassemble buildings that have fallen apart and place them on the ground. Seeing is believing. Try it for yourself. Must be faster than listening to my lecture. Oh, yes, and if you forget the things I teach you, use this useless item. It's a guide for using Atlamilla. See, they did it again, Atlamilla. And other things. I wrote it for beginnings like you. Manual can be selected from the main menu. Read it carefully. Okay, I leave the world's reconstruction to you. I'll be watching. Ha, ah, so long. Sucker! I could have done it all myself, but I gave it to you. Loser. All right, here we go. So I'm not going to do that yet. I want to go to the mayor and get me some more juicy supplies. Hope you all are having a good day. Oops, I just skipped all over that. This looks to be no easy task. I put some items you'll be needing in your bag. Be careful, okay? My bad. Um, occasionally, as you rebuild Norun Village and as you go through to the other areas, you will get items laying around houses. Uh, the items appear based on how much of the house you've completed and how happy the resident of that house is. Which goes into Georama Analysis. So you have your collection, how much is complete, and the request. The request bar is important because you get key items that help you both advance the story and power up your characters. So let's get into this. So Macho's house. Let's put it there. Oh, hey, there's Macho. Macho likes his... Macho like his name. Never skips training. Here we go. See? Item. Bread. Isn't that fun? Tasty water. Hey, Macho. Ah, Toy, I missed you, man. Your smile really brightens my day. Hello. If you see my big bro, tell him you didn't see me, okay? I'm counting on you. How should I build re how should I rebuild New Arun? Fighting is what a man should live for. It's a basic fact of life, really. What will happen when it's finished? Hmm. That, uh, you should ask my big bro. Tell me how to rebuild your house. Look, don't forget to expand my room in the barbell. Put that outside. All right. So I don't have anything for that. <laughs> the other things I have are trees and a road. So, there are two ways to get back to the dungeon. You can just do what I did right here and run in, or go to dungeon. So let's go to dungeon. We are on to floor two. Or B2. I don't know if that's a hit on your battleship, but I hope it is. Huh? That's a kitty! What are you doing in here, kitty? And it's gone. Okay. Obviously, since this is the first dungeon, the enemies here are rather easy. 
Also in the bottom left you have speed, which is also is basically your stamina bar. Oh, bone key. I'll need that to open a gate to traverse in this area. Some more Atla, please. Komacho! Macho's brother. More escape powder. How bad do they think I am? I have like three of those now. Early on, your uh, inventory gets full pretty quick, too, because you don't have anywhere to get rid of it. Oh, two dashers. Darn it. Dad, I think dashers qualify as beasts. Ooh, that was close. I got lucky there. I love this game, though. It's a combination of an RPG, an action RPG, um, a, a city builder simulator. I love it. It's very fun. And, it, and it's a different take on HP. It's not like potions. It's not potions or anything like that. It's, it's food. You know? The more you get hit, the more hungry you get. And you get thirsty. Like, come on. Ah, that torch. Alright, gotta be careful. There's the key. on top of it. We'll just pop the key in right now. And move it along. I wonder if the game will let me do it right now. A yamich? I could go for a yamich. Sounds delicious. I don't want to use it against this. Yep. So, you have this attack right now, which gives you invincibility frames, which is nice. It's a charge attack. Um, ah, well, I'll leave it for when we get there. So that is handy if you want to avoid getting hit by, like, bats or something. Because you'll invincibility frame their attack and just slash right on top of them. I don't really do that because I'm stupid and I forget to do that. Hey, Undead Buts Buster. So, I can show you what a detachment does. So you go to Customize, and you have two attachment slots. It can affect anything on every screen except for WHP and abs. So Attack, Endurance, Speed, and Magic Power are the four main stats. Then you have the Elements, which are Fire, Ice, Thunder, Wind, and Holy. And then you have the Enemy Types, Dino Slayer, Undead Slayer, Sea Killer, Rock Buster, Plant Killer, Beast Killer, Sky Hunter, Metal Breaker, Mimic Breaker, and Mage Slayer. I think I got all of those right first try without looking at a list. Each attachment does something different. Um, and each... How do I want to say this? Each weapon level up, I guess. You could call it, or advancement upgrade. Um requires different stats to evolve, like a Pokemon. Um, which is another reason why I love this game, because it has a little Pokemon element to it by evolving your weapons. Fine, we'll drink some water. And tasty water, actually, by the way, uh, that you get from the mayor is better than what you can buy from the odd gaffer early on. Because it's tasty water. Tasty water refills more than regular water, which is what you get uh, from the odd gaffer. Oops. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'm busy. And there goes the undead buster into our weapon. All right. So now we need more damage to the undead. Man, I can't wait to get a Drance Feather. Can I just say that? 
can't wait. Each uh, enemy type, I guess, has a weakness. Ah! An innate weakness to it. So there are some that are basically immune to like ice damage. Undead are particularly weak against. You guessed it. Holy. Ooh, barbell. Macho wanted that. And this is the back room area. We don't have the item. It's tram oil. And the it gives you a hint. There's a tram with rusty wheels. So oil, I guess, would grease those wheels up. I would since they're saying rusty, I would say grease would have been a better choice than tram oil, but you know. Level 5 didn't consult 12-year-old me for this game. Shocking, I know. All right, so let's leave, restock, get Komacho into his house, and get back into the dungeon. For these episodes, I'm going to try to do three floors per episode. Uh, unless there's a story event or a boss fight, then I will adjust the episodes accordingly, which means the um, episode lengths will vary as we go through. Oh, I don't need to heal. Boop. All right. This looks to be no easy task. I put some items in your... Oh. How was the Divine Beast Cave? You ran into some monsters, right? What's happened to it, I wonder? There are two ways to repair your weapon, the way I've been showing you, and you can also go into your inventory, drag it over. Cool. So we just refilled what we've got. And let's move on down here. There are also times of day in this, which affect some stuff in other areas in the game. As far as, like, what shops are open and whatnot. It's not my favorite thing in the world that they have in this game, but, you know. It just adds a little flavor. Uh, is Komacho inside the house? Seems to be he is. And here we are, inside the Macho house. Komacho! Thank you, Toen. Say, what happened on the day of the festival, anyway? I remember a light flash from the sky. And the house has disappeared, and after that, I don't remember a thing. Hello. Did you see my little brother, Macho? I was told to say no. <laughs> How should I rebuild Norun? I'd like the house to be someplace where I don't have to go far for a good workout. What will happen when it's done? I'll give you something, but I'll keep it secret for now. The hint is rock-breaking strength. Tell me how to rebuild your house. A fence and a lamp would be nice. We had stuff any decent person would have, you know. All right. Do you have anything in here? Do you have stuff? Treasure chests? No? Boo! So we can finish this house right now. So let's do that. Config assembly. We have two fences and two lamps, but you only get one of each. Because that's what you asked for. And let's do the event. Whoa, Thorin, you've done it! Thanks a lot, our house is back to normal again. Here, this is for you. Keep it. Stonebreaker. I called it Rockbreaker. My bad. Hey, that's why. Hey, bro. What do you think you're doing? Like I always tell you, what's yours is mine and what's mine is mine. That's how things between big brothers and little brothers should be. Uh, can't take this anymore, bro. We're gonna settle this with a battle. Oh, really? Ready when you are. Uh-oh. Ooh. E ah. Uh, I'm just gonna go. Okay, we're, we're just gonna go. Awkward! I'm gonna keep that Stonebreaker uh, knot to put on the dagger. <laughs> because when you status break a weapon, it gets 60% of the stats put into it. 
uh, as an attachment for your weapons. So... Man, no chests. You guys suck. I'm out of here. So I want to save that for when I get to a weapon that I want to upgrade. I'm going to check my inventory real quick. We are good to go back to the Dungeoni. I had a playthrough once, years and years ago, where I had the second best sword in the game on Toen. And wouldn't you know, I wasn't paying attention. I was fighting against a dragon enemy, and those eat your weapon endurance like crazy. And it broke. I was angry. I didn't have anything close to that strength that I didn't want to put the time in again, so I quit. <laughs> I'm back. Exciting, eh? Don't give me that look. This is for your benefit. Now, here is the intermediate course. I won't repeat myself, so listen carefully. First, it's a lock-on. You already know that by pressing the circle button locks onto monsters. Red target frames will appear around the enemy for as long as they are locked on. However, you may not have known that the L1 and R1 buttons function change during lock-on. Pressing the L1 button during lock-on switches lock-on to another enemy. Pressing the L1 button repeatedly cycles through all of the enemies in your field of view. Next, pressing the R1 button activates your guard. I never use that. Guarding allows you to defend against enemy attacks. Don't forget the guard function. It can save you in the heat of battle. Also, did you know about the attribute change function for your weapons? Yes, I actually told everyone about that recently. This changes weapons elemental attribute. Wait, you did? There are five attributes. Fire, ice, thunder, wind, and holy. But you already know that. Many monsters are vulnerable to a specific attribute. To change a weapon's attribute, use the attribute or customize command in that weapon's menu and change it there. Of course, you cannot activate an attribute unless that weapon has points for that attribute. What do you think? Easy, huh? Don't want to fry your noodles, so that's enough this time. Good luck to you, boy. See you soon. Is it really for my benefit? Is it really? All right, here we go. What? Oh, give me a freaking break, dude. As I was about to say once more into the breach. For those amulets to work, by the way, they need to be equipped up here in your active item slots. I have two active at all times when I have them. Ooh, a map. Ow! Haha. <laughs> My own mini Dark Souls boss there. I hate stone enemies, I hate metal enemies, and I hate dragons. Not because they're particularly difficult. Is there... Yeah, there is. Let's go this way. But because they chew through your weapon HP like crazy. Same thing with mimics. Stamina drink. Basically gives you extra attack power. Ooh. Uh-oh. Um... Let's go with poison. Nice. For those, I go with the one that is the most annoying. Ooh, a Gladius. Uh, well, I'll show what that weapon is. It's a holy based weapon. 10 attack power. So it is stronger than what we have. Has the same endurance. It's slower, but it has better magic power. Like I said, we're going to take the dagger up to 10 for the base stats and put it into whatever weapon we have. Bats are jerks because they poison you. And it's like a hundred percent chance too. It's not, but that's what it feels like. Son of a gun! Woo! Almost died. Can we just? Thank you. Goodness gracious. You know, we're gonna have to. I was hoping to be able to cheese all the way over to the... Uh, oh, yeah, stamina drink also increases your defense. All the way over to the little spring down there, but wasn't able to. A bench. Is this the magic crystal? Oh, it's a treasure key. That'd be nice. If you use a treasure key inside the giant treasure chests, you have a better chance to get a rarer weapon. 
You can also sell them at a vendor for, I think it's 400 Gilda. So none too shabby there. Hey, it's the odd gaffer. Boop. I thought there was one more enemy in here. Am I crazy? I might be crazy. Road, and next we get a lamp. Could it be Odd Gaffer's buggy? I was right, there is one more. Ha! I'm not crazy. I'm just a little insane. Oh man, Dran's Feather, I need you. Desperately. These, these floors go by so much more quickly when you have Feather. It doubles your movement speed. As you can tell, we need that. <laughs> All right, pop the key in as we run by. Now we need to get... Actually, we didn't keep count of how many Adla were there was in here. Oh, wow. Later in the game, this would portend a Mimic would be here, but at this point, we haven't run into them yet, so we don't need to worry about them. There's the regular water. I think regular water refills three. Tasty water refills five or six. And... Woo! Premium water refills everything. Oh, nice, we can keep going. Boop. And always upgrade your weapon before you repair. Because if you repair your weapon up to full WHP and then you level up, you're one HP short of being full again. So. It's just annoying. It's one less auto attack you can do. Auto attack. One less attack you can do. A chimney. Don't need that. Another prickly. So, fishing bait, I just sell them all for the money. I mean, it, uh, you can get some cool stuff from fishing. You can get gems for your weapon attachments. You can get weapons themselves. You can get some pretty cool ones, but it's just such a pain that I never do it. Uh, let's get rid of that beeping, shall we? Water for towing. And there is a bank sort of system where you can drop your stuff off. The old hag is the first one to do so. And what I really like about this game is that it's not located to where you dropped it off. They all share throughout the world. Your bank is shared. So you don't have to worry about going remembering where you dropped something off. So that'll be nice when I can get to that. But Oh, story element. I'm terrible at these. No, wait, no, this isn't what I'm thinking it is. So they have real or quick time events. And my timing on them, like I can get them done, but Ow. Here's the quick time event. I, I, I can get them done, but I, I never get a perfect. Tower Annie's a tough one. You'll have to duel him. 
A duel is a special form of combat. Controller buttons mark col controller button markers will move from right to the left. Press the right button when they line up with the light blue bar. Arrows such as left arrow mean press in that direction with either the directional buttons or the analog stick. The closer the button mark is to the center of the blue bar when you press it, the better your rating will be. If you hit all of the marks with the right timing, you'll be victorious. When the duel starts, you will be given indication of it with this mark. Be aware of it. Here it begins. Stay focused. See? I don't know what it is with the directional ones. The directional ones are always the ones I screw up. Neat. Another undead buster. And Trans Crest. And that was the third level. So we will leave. And I will leave you here. Thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate you being here. If you're liking the play Spelunk through, please hit that subscribe button, follow the channel, comment, all that stuff, bong my bell, and I'll see you in the next episode as we continue our Spelunk through of Dark Cloud. Bye, everybody.